Hi, welcome to my next video. This time I wanted to show you something a bit more simple than usual. I'll be just sketching this scene with a train using a fountain pen. Lately I have been enjoying more sketching just basic things in between a bigger project that I'm working on, uh, trying to work on. Uh, even at times when I'm at kind of a low creatively and I don't know what I'm going to do and I don't have so much energy, I have my folder on my desktop which is called To Draw uh, and another one which is called To Paint in which I try to just save some pictures that are kind of nice material for sketching and painting. So when I feel lack of inspiration and I just want to sit down and do something um, simple, I peek into one of these folders and then just do a sketch. Sometimes I do them live here on YouTube. I did some, um, I think two weeks ago, and sometimes I just take out my sketchbook and do something uh, nice and simple in it. Especially for the last few months, while the coronavirus was at its peak here in Japan, uh, we didn't go out so much, so I used these folders a lot to do some sketching from photos. And what's more, these sketching sessions are a good opportunity to get out of my kind of comfort zone and especially use tools that I don't usually use or I don't feel like 100% comfortable with yet. So usually I would just go for a pencil and watercolors to color the thing, but here I wanted to do the picture with just lines from my fountain pen. And actually I think this is a really nice combination of a fountain pen and ink. Uh, this is a Parker 45 that I had a long time but it was not working really well. Um, I got it fixed just recently in a shop called Eurobox which is like a specialty fountain pen shop in Tokyo near to us in Ginza. Until now this pen was really dirty, inside it had a lot of old ink, probably I don't know 40 years of old ink just there, uh, the nib was crooked so it was scratchy and it didn't work well at all. So I got it cleaned and professionally fixed so now I can use it for my just writing and drawing also. And here I decided to use it with Pilot Tsukushi ink, which is uh, one of the inks from the Iroshizuku series. And I actually really like these inks, even though they are not really good for like my purposes, because they are not waterproof. So I cannot use them for the line works of my watercolors, but I really enjoy using them for just my regular writing. I write my journals with it, I like their colors and how smooth the pen works with them. And from the whole line I have few colors, but uh, I like the squishy one the best so far. Just because how the color changes when the ink is drying from this rich brown color to almost gold, it doesn't have any shimmer or shine, or it doesn't have any particles in it or anything, but uh, the color changes so magnificently when it dries that I really like the effect. Um, and also I think that the color after it dries matches well with a fountain pen with a gold nib. Uh, so I think it's a well matched pair, this pen and this ink. Another ink that I really like from this series is the Yamabudo, which is kind of a dark red violet color. I actually used it in a video on this channel. So uh, if you search for it, you will see just me using it with um, color pencils, I think. That color actually has a bit of a shimmer. So in places where the ink pulled and dried, then it has like a gold kind of sheen uh, when you look at uh, the right angle. So that's also nice. Overall, I really enjoy using fountain pens for writing and drawing for their smoothness, but I try not to kind of leave the drawing process just to my hand. I try to think about what I'm doing. So for example, here I'm trying to make sure that I'm not making this picture too detailed and too crowded. I'm trying to keep this piece simple because on the paper it's actually quite small. Okay, this is how it turned out. I just increased the contrast in Photoshop a bit so the picture is easier to understand. Okay, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. As always, feel free to comment, share and subscribe, and you can also support me on Patreon. It's your support there that allows me to do these videos. That's it, see you in the next one.
拜。